Don't you just love pretending and using your imagination? Yeah, that's why I love to read. I'm Anzi Nicholas. And I'm Isabella Sproul. To see how pretending, imagination, and reading come together, let's check in with Katie Charlotte. I just love the library because of all the books. I'm Katie Charlotte, and did you know there are many different types of books to read? My favorite books are fiction. These are stories that are not true. Other book types are nonfiction. These are books about real events or stories. Biographies are about real live people. These are just a few of the different types of books you can find in most libraries. What I like most about books is the places they can take you and the people you can meet. One of my favorite book characters is Kirsten. She comes out of the American Girl series. When reading, I just imagine myself as that character. Now let me share with you one of my favorite parts of this book. The bear turned to lick her cup, and Kirsten realized she and Peter had just this one chance to get away. She grabbed Peter's hand. Quick, climb that tree. They raced to the far side of the clearing. Kirsten made a step for Peter with her clasped hands. He jumped into it and stretched for the lowest branch of the big oak. I sure love this part of the story. Climb fast, Kirsten cried. Don't stop. You come too, Peter said. Here's my hand. She grasped his hand and the branch and struggled up after him. What amazing things our imaginations can do. I hope to see you at the library soon checking out a book that you love most. See ya. It's like this cool energy ball. Is it really there or is it our imagination? Now let's check into school news to see what's really happening. I'm Dania Skipper with today's news. In school news, January 31st, report cards go home. February 6th is early release. And February 18th is a school holiday. Have a great weekend. Bye. I'm pretending I'm hanging off a large cliff. And I'm pretending I'm going upside down on a roller coaster. Now let's check in with this week's FCAT test tips. Good morning. Can you believe only a few more weeks till FCAT? I'm Logan Wright with today's FCAT tips. The first thing we can all do is start each day with a good breakfast. This allows our brains to have the needed energy to get through this important test. A good breakfast is important every day. Another important tip is make sure you get plenty of sleep. This will help you to concentrate better and have a better attitude throughout the day. Also, remember to listen each and every day to what your teachers are saying. This will surely help you on test day. Well, I hope these tips help you to have a great testing day. See ya! Ah, a warm fire. Now all we need is some marshmallows. Well, at least we have our pretend tent. Now let's check out to see how much exercise we need each day. great day for soccer. I'm Katie Charlotte and I sure enjoy spending my free time on the soccer field. Playing soccer allows me to spend time with my friends outside and get my needed exercise. Did you know that doctors recommend that students have 60 minutes of rigorous activity a day? That sure is a lot. Currently, students can sign up for spring soccer at www.whysa.com. This is what the website looks like. Hope you give it a try. Some other great things that I like about soccer is that children learn about good sportsmanship and how to work as a team. I hope to see you on the soccer field. Till next time, I'm Katie Charlotte. Well, we sure had fun using our imaginations today. Yeah, I always wished I could shoot fire. From your BB and Six crew, we hope you have fun using your imagination. Bye.